What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another episode of The Rockets Hits and Heartbreaks. Well, uh, going to be quick today. Not going to not gonna bore you with a lot of stuff here, but just wanted to give you kind of another example of doubles and pick threes and why they are very, very important. Let's go to Ellis Park, and let's go to Saturday at Ellis, the big day, the Stephen Foster day. Pull up the results on the screen now um, for you and kind of give you an up or, and, there we go and kind of give you a um, kind of a clarity on on our daily doubles and our pick threes and why they're important so let's go uh this would have been races four five six seven eight so the four through eight here they had a uh a pick five four through eight um here at, that they offered on saturday at ellis uh but i want to talk a lot about the doubles so Again, a couple of weeks ago, the question was, you know, what what will pays are you willing to accept for doubles? Um, and this is kind of an extreme example of uh, of something that it's a no brainer bet. It so uh, we use two horses by two horses for the double here races four and five. Um, on top, we had this Asmussen runner Edified who was uh, ran extremely well, better than I thought uh, the horse would honestly. So. We used him, we used one other horse here trying to uh, get value in the double to the next race. And we actually had uh, we had the two horse on top in this spot as well. And we also used the four uh, as well uh, in the daily double. So a two by two double there. And like I said, you always look at these wheel pays. And so in a situation like this, you've got a maiden special weight for two year olds. And then you've got an allowance optional claiming on the turf. Uh, it was kind of rainy that day or it rained the, the day before. So you don't want to take like eight dollars for a dollar when you're playing a double with two races like that and this is kind of what i'm saying you got to be a little bit there's no set answer to i want eight dollars out of my double or i'm not playing it you kind of have to be a little bit flexible and so you look here and it's like okay i do like this two horse here but it's a two-year-old first time starting maiden special weight and i'm playing it into an allowance optional claimer on the turf you don't want like eight dollars for a buck is is kind of the whole thing you want to get you know 15 bucks probably to play out of that now in this situation we hit it and it paid 71.64 for one dollar those are kind of no-brainers if you're looking at the will pays and anything if it's over like 20 dollars or more most of the time you're like okay that's that's definitely enough to play it but you know i'm gonna make another point on when maybe you could play a shorter one right but this is kind of like uh, a race, you know, a maiden special weight two-year-old, that's got a lot of variance to it. And a race on the turf for allowance optional claimers, there's a bit of variance to that as well. So you want to be careful not to take too short of a price uh, into that. So we also played a pick three here where we went uh, three horses by two and then by uh, two here as well. Uh, another situation here where if you liked the two and you look at it and okay, what is, what is that two pay? Uh, for the double and you're seeing 1888 and you're like okay a lot of variance here then we get into a stakes race for the six so if you want to play that double and it's paying 1888 i don't think that was uh, too bad of a play i think you look at that and go okay that makes a lot of sense we also hit the pick three we listen for a buck uh on the website but 50 cent is how ellis will listen so uh, 74 62 uh for the for that pick three about uh, 150 bucks is what it returned for a dollar on a 12 dollar ticket so again you're pulling out, you know, but even say you played this for a double, a dollar, you know, four dollar wager is what it would have been two by two for a buck. It pays seventy one sixty four. Then you played that twelve dollar. Let's say you did that pick three uh, and then right there you're getting about one hundred fifty bucks back. So you're pulling out pretty decent numbers with low uh, ticket costs. And that's kind of the key here uh, as, as you go along. And so you're pulling money out of the sequence without having to hit a pick four or a pick five. And that's kind of the point of what we're trying to do. We're trying to create the value that way. Now here's a double. You look at this and say you, you know, Bango was one of our horses and, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, the two and the five were our two horses here. So you look at that and you go, okay, I'm going to play. Here's my pr pr perspective, double two, five. And then within here, the six uh, was one of our main uses. And I believe the 10 actually was our other one. So we were right on with it, but you come down and the will pays, I think, we're like four or five bucks almost the whole time two to six that's one you probably stay away from because you you've, you've got uh two horses yeah that maybe you like 
they're not like slam dunks by any means. Yes, they both won, but this was one I would not have played. I might play it if it was paying $5 and it was Cody's wish in Elite Power, right? Or it was Cody's wish and up to the mark. You know, horses that are really good, that are tough to beat. You're like, okay, I should expect that I'm only going to get four or five to one, six to one, maybe on my wager here. So I'm going to go ahead and play that because I really love these horses. In this situation, uh, you know, Bango is obviously a, a solid horse. This is ho Hoist the Gold. Been a while since the horse had won. Kind of been well beaten in some of the stakes races that uh, the horse had been in, but was taking that drop down in class. But I didn't trust that horse enough to take a double that was only five to one into that horse. So that's one where you skip it, right? You just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. And that's okay if you do that. It's not that, you know, you want to maximize what you're doing. So uh, again, we, we, um, you know, we quote unquote hit it. I, I don't, when I'm grading the rockets, if you missed that from a few weeks ago, I just play two by two rolling doubles. That's how I grade it. Clearly telling you on the product, please don't just blindly play the two by two doubles. Look at the will pays. I'm just trying to get a baseline for what we're doing, how, how the picks are doing, but you've got to look at the will pays um, and make sure, you know, you're, you're playing wagers that make sense from that standpoint. We also put on another $12 pick three ticket that cashed here uh, for a buck. And that would have been, you know, right around 40, uh, let's see, 42, 43 bucks for that one. Uh, I wanted to get into one more kind of an example uh here by the way stitch knocked us out of a lot of stuff and i know he knocked a lot of people out of a lot of stuff in that one uh but we go to the last double of the day uh that we hit we had a we had a four six double into the three five and this was one uh where i personally ended up playing it um even though the will pay was low so uh the double pay is 827 with uh the six into the five and so this was really on the cusp for me. I almost didn't do it, uh, but I was very confident in the five in that last race. So I, I thought, okay, I'm pretty confident that five is going to win the race. So you go up here and it's like, okay, what is your confidence level that either West Willpower or Rattle and Roll will win? Yeah, the only horse I was really concerned about was Smile Happy. His will pays were were not very good anyway, but I didn't. I wasn't going to use them uh, for this. So it's like, yeah, I I think Rattle and Roll will outrun Smile Happy. So you talk about the McPeaks. I, I just thought, yeah, I think Rattle and Roll's coming into it a little bit better. Uh, I think I think he'll run okay. And then you kind of look at the rest of the field. It's like, is West Will Power and Rattle and Roll better than Last Samurai? Probably. Uh, Stiletto Boy, I wasn't worried about winning. You know, if I was playing an Exacta, I would have been a little bit worried about him. Speed bias, uh, I wasn't. Again, I think maybe hit the board like, and I've just never been a proxy fan. So then I thought, okay, it's eight bucks. I'm pretty damn confident in the four six in the Stephen Foster. I'm very confident in the five in the last. It isn't perfect, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go after it. I, I kind of told myself before the race, you need about ten bucks for this. I did end up going in on eight twenty seven. Like I said, it's just a feel, right? And and you do that sometimes and you don't hit it and you're like, why did I do that? It really wasn't worth, worth the risk. But I thought in this situation, if I went and this was me kind of, okay, I see the payouts. I'm just going to go two by one. I'm not going to go two by two here. I'm not going to use that three. It's going to go two horses by one and try to get it home there. Just kind of save that ticket cost a little bit. So, I mean, $2 ticket pays $8.27. It's, it's not like that's a big payout, but you know, you play it for 10 bucks. That's not too bad. You spend the twenty dollars on it if you played it for ten. You get eight twenty-seven times ten, so eighty-two bucks on a twenty-dollar wager. Not awful. You're not gonna break the bank with it, but again, it just kind of shows you the different situations, right? In, in the fourth and the fifth that I showed you guys, I wouldn't have played that double if it was paying eight bucks. It just, it's not gonna do it. But I didn't think the variance was quite as large on these races, so I went ahead and, and did it. So again, um, you know, just trying to kind of show everybody. The different mindsets and that's my mindset on it that doesn't have to be yours and i think that's something that, that people really need to realize some of the things i say you might disagree with and that's fine you, it's your wagering dollar right um and look i i i would be the first to say some of the things i do some people may really hate that and that's okay and i may really hate some of the things that people do but again when it comes to wagering that's your dollar and you've got to make that decision uh, you know, we can give you the horses that we like. 
and you got to do uh, what you want to do with them in that situation. And everybody kind of has their own little uh, structure or their own little thoughts on that. So, um, you know, I, I don't think as long as you're making positive expect value wagers, I don't really think you're doing anything uh, wrong on that end. Just make sure, like I said, to make sure that those payouts that you are you are wagering on, those horses, the payouts, the horses uh, that you're wagering on are good enough for you personally. You know, so just try not to be robotic. Try to be a little bit flexible with it. Just try to make sure you know exactly what you're getting from every wager that you make and that you're mentally okay with that. So, all right, that's my rant for this week. I guess not rant, but just uh, going on and on about it. But again, I, I do think it's very important that we keep covering topics like this and keep trying to say, look, this is how you maximize uh, your dollar. You gotta, you gotta really be careful. Uh, with what you're doing so all right guys thanks everybody for watching this weekend's rockets hits and heartbreaks we'll be back next week um we'll, we'll keep going we'll just keep going through more of this stuff and uh just keep trying to uh, get everybody uh excited and and ready for the big uh, stuff coming up uh belmont oaks and derby this weekend that is an awesome card as always and in saratoga not too far away and del mar of course as well so all right guys thanks everybody for watching this week we'll see you next week RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here. Our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.